chapter three, number two, determine whether the graph represents a linear or a nonlinear function, right? So when it's a graph like this, all you have to see is if it curves or it's straight. So here, the function curves, okay, makes it not a linear function, okay? not a linear function because it curves all right for this one you would say that here for b here the function is a straight line okay makes it a linear function so this is a linear function because it is a straight line okay what do I mean by a straight line? It means it has a constant rate of change. Let's see it here, okay? So let's see how it changes here. So the x values here add one to each time, okay? And the y here is adding five to each time, okay? So here you would say that these values make a linear function because they have a constant rate of change quote rate of change is also another word for slope so it is a linear function because they have a constant rate of change or slope that is the explanation and the slope here is uh, you can write it here if you want. All right, m is equal to change of y, which is 5 over 1. Let's look at d here, all right? So how is it changing? 5 to 7, it is plus 2. 7 to 9 is plus 2. 9 to 11 is plus 2. How do you go from negative 9 to negative 3? You're going to add... Six. How do you go from negative three to negative one? I think you're adding two, right? And then how do you go from negative one to three? You're adding four. So this is here. This is definitely not a linear function because there is no constant rate of change quote slope here okay it is not a linear function because there is no constant rate of change okay that's the explanation on why so c is a linear function and d is not linear